Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Quest for 100%. Last time, we were, doing, we were doing farming stuff. We were doing more farming stuff. Currently, we're saying a nice 77.7. That's like my favorite number. Um, so things are looking pretty good for us right now. Our percentage, 81. So hopefully, we can start getting stuff and moving out with the world. But let's go see Doug Dimmadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmer Ranch. I won't hear any more of it. You know what's called, you know what I mean. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me, Mr. Geddes. Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Oh, they seem like they're going well for the Marston thing. God what bless that? you. What are you? What are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What we got? We have. John's Kettleman Revolver. Repeating- Oh, I got the repeating shotgun? That's strange. Up. Okay. Wait. Go. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Dog Ranch. Wait. Oh, I think I see it. Could be that hard to get there. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. Oh there! That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more on the side, I imagine. 
Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Raise it. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some Four? murders to all of you. I'll back to that thing and repeat it, but... What? I don't think we've used too many shotguns in this game. Cards anymore. Shut that guy on the butt. That's Springfield. Shot my feet up. I got this. You boys take cattle. See you back. I get a bar. Where are you, big fella? Pit taking, pit shoveling, backwoods, sucker, no good, trash. Man, you made a horrible decision.
Shotgun. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip. I'm not interested in dealing with you. John's mad. No. I think it's possible now. I know the challenge was I just thought about horsemen non maybe doable now. With the uh Say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants Hello, to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Telegram for. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. Oh no. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. You ain't gonna be for it. Oh, Sadie has all of, uh, Arthur stuff. Cause I really want to wear every all of her, all, of, all, of, ew, all of Arthur's stuff is. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, 
I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Well... Right. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. Well, keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Time to work. We go to Valentine instead. I feel like that's the play. And this one way for is more of the. Uh. Basically, when it looks like we're free to go, probably start doing some of the odd stuff again. Oh god, we have to do like every little thing again, don't we? Hammer, hammer. That would look so bad. Word montage? Her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Go, Dad. Yes. I don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. 
I want to see what Doug Dimidon wants. Needs. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope. Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. So I guess this is what I was saying. But when, we're, when we get free, we can go do stuff. As a gun case. I did one outfit, isn't it? Oh. A few months ago, that trust takes me. That. So we do have two options. We can go to see Sadie, or oh, we are free. We're freaking free, guys. All right, let's see what map we have. So, one thing I was wondering, Blackwater, okay, well, go to Blackwater, we haven't been to Blackwater ever, Sadie, Blackwater, uh... Good start. You know, that was weird that we're actually going to a town and we were banned from the beginning of the game. I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. And I'm wondering, like, how they're going to uh, connect two and one together. I feel like that's one of the biggest things I'm wondering. Yes, I have everything again. I'm excited. Okay, so... Excited because like later on I was like, 
when are we getting back to the game? And we're back to the game. So we are still in story mode. We're going to do probably one more mission story and then move on to do a side thing or two. Or ten. And we're going to see if we can go ahead and get Beecher's Hope. Because Beecher's Hope is the final area of Red Dead 1. It's kind of funny how it's similar to being a final area of Red Dead 2. Stagecoach. I think it would make more sense to take the stagecoach. Wait, what? Hey there, Hector. My name's John. I knew Arthur, Alden's friend. I'm another, um, discouraged you... man. Ah, uh, yes, say no more. I've got something here you might be interested in. 50 bucks, age drum, Civil War handcuffs? I feel like I ain't wearing John's outfit from Red Dead 1, which is awesome. It feels like things are starting to go... Is that a raccoon? Oh, it's a cat. A raccoon? Oh, I'm just curious, can I go to Blackwater? Can you give me a ride, please, partner? So, where are you going? I can't Black actually take the stagecoach to Blackwater. That well, is nice. Be there quick. So, theoretically, some things we got from food for thought. We do have the horseman challenge now. We can actually Let's officially go. do, I think, anyway, at this point of the game. We also have, um... Also, a lot of challenges to do. We have to kill four cows with a stick of dynamite. Which, I wonder if it has to do with Micah. But, there are two things I need to do, too. So I feel like I know what we're going to do next episode after we do a mission. Okay. Actually, we have to do one. We're here. No, we do not, actually. Guys, next time on Red Urge 2, look at Blackwater. I'll see you.